You're a murderer! I said calm down! Crap! This is no way to start the day! Let's get this clear. I am not a murderer. I am a regional manager. I am married. And my wife is an invalid and very dependent on me. But minutes before the Lehman Brothers' collapse was announced, Professor Murray's wife and I finally consummated what had been a long-standing, but up until then, purely emotional affair. The very same day, Mr. Green, almost down to the second, I slept with my best friend's wife and betrayed my own and almost instantly, the world as I knew it ceased to exist. I would have gotten away with you if it weren't for you meddling bitch and you dumb dog. I'll get you for this. Five months after Snowy murdered Ryan and Lloyd, he met Louis Caron. He suggested they go trapping together. Snowy used strychnine on Ryan and Lloyd, but he didn't have the stomach for it again. We found this 32 caliber slug in the ashes. We believe that Snowy waited for Karen to fall asleep or snuck up on him from behind. One shot in the back of her head makes us think he was sleeping. She was, of course, a good mother. An excellent mother. Mr. Chandler, this was a great tragedy and a great blow to you. Yes. A great tragedy. Hey. Conrad? What's going on? He's a cannibal Dan's been talking about. What? No, I am not a cannibal. You saying there's no body parts in there? Yes. No. Yes. But they're nothing to do with me. I'm paid to get rid of them. I've been warned about idol worship, but nothing Nothing prepared me for what I found. I saw men groveling in the dirt in front of that hideous thing that they called their god, spilling their blood to appease it. I looked in its face, and I knew what it was. It was darkness, primeval night, the evil one. In that instant, I knew why God had sent me here, what he was calling me to do. Destroy it, and all other idols. It's Fibonacci, an uh, Italian mathematician, 13th century. Uh, a wife beater, some say. <laughs> I do not know. Culture. I miss my culture. <laughs> Great big robbers are things. Yeah. Bob Lovins. 